Good morning, my friends, and welcome to Green Light the Day. I know that you will see this on my channel too, Gastric Rose, because I like to share on my channel. Uh, because I want to let you guys all know that there is another channel called Green Light the Day. And there is vloggers every day, and uh, so I like sharing on my channel too, so you guys get to know that there is other vloggers every day of the week, and uh, we start out our morning this way. So right now I'm going to send you some hugs. So today uh, I'm going to green light the day, remembering. Let me turn this down. My granddaughter, because you guys know that this summer I had my granddaughter with me. And I want to read a few things to you guys. While we try to teach our children all about life, our children teach us what life is all about in reality. I thought I would have to teach my child about the world. It turns out I have to teach the world about my child. The reason I chose those two quotes for today, I have another one, but was because Azul, my granddaughter, is very unique. She has her own vision. She has her own thoughts, you know. A lot of times we think, why does my child do the things she does, right? She's teaching us that she is unique. She is Azul. She is uh, her own person, right? A lot of times we think that we're teaching our children, so, and we're teaching them values, right? We're teaching them habits. We're teaching them this. We're teaching them that. And a lot of times they're teaching us who they are, how unique they are individually. I have two daughters. One is not like the other. <laughs> Can't play that game. I don't know if you guys remember that on Sesame Street. But they're very unique. They are not like the other. One is day and one is night. And I had to learn that with Asul. She is not at all the way I want to mold her. She molds herself. And I have to know, you know, where to add to the molding. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, a child can teach an adult three things. To be happy for no reason at all. To always be busy with something. And to know how to demand with all his might or her might that which he desires. You know, there's, there's laughter going on, and there's, there's, a child can, can only show us what they've learned. And if they've been on the earth only seven years, then that's all they're going to teach us, right? They can only show us what they've learned in those seven years. How do we react to what they have learned? learned in, in those seven years, eight years, nine years, ten years, I don't know, what you know, whatever child you're dealing with. I may not be perfect, but when I look in my children or in my children's life and years, I know that I got something in my life perfectly right. They've given me their perfection. Not my perfection, but their perfection. We are not just teachers. We are the managers of the world's greatest resource in children. And this was, I'll conclude with this. I've come to the conclusion that I am the decisive element in the home or the classroom. It is my daily mood that makes the weather in my home or my classroom. This is a teacher or a mother talking. As a teacher or a mother, I possess 
a tremendous power to make a child's life miserable or joyous. I can be a tool or a torture or an instrument of inspiration. I can humiliate or humor. I can hurt or heal. In all situations, it is my responsibility as a teacher or a mother that decides whether a crisis will be escalated or de-escalated and a child humanized or dehumanized. I say this in love. There's a lot of things that I could have done, should have done, would have done as a mother, as a teacher in my classroom. For 30 years, I was a teacher. And when I came across this quote, when Asul was here, I made myself think twice before it could have gotten escalated or I can de escalate things. I could have humiliated her or made it humorous, which I did. Life is too short, my friends. As a teacher, as a mother, I say to you, when you have children in your home, to remember this quote by Dr. Haim Knott, G-I-N-O-T-T. Make a child's life joyous. Make a child an instrument of inspiration. You can either humiliate or humor. Choose to humor. And I'll end it with this, that my summer was all about my granddaughter teaching me. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you when I see you. Woo! Got to dry them tears. It was joyous. It was an amazing, and I, I'm sure that a lot of you that followed my journey with her this summer know that she gave me lots of love, and I keep it right here. I love you, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!